We're continuing in Shara HaKudim, Perikala. Somewhere in the, in the middle of the Perik Lunch. V'zeh sod pekach inecho resh momoseno. This is the sod of the Pasuk. Pekach inecho, open up your eyes and see uh, our d- destruction. Well, the having Pasuk Zeh, nivra metziya sa'inim. Now to explain this Pasuk, we're going to uh, explain and we're going to explain Matthias Ayn, we're going to explain the idea of the eye. The Nema, Kine and Nukudus Hantes. Now, the Nukudus that, uh, that come out of the eye, and the Nukudus inside on the Osios, in our Osios, in our Aleph base, there are, test, there are nine Nukudus. Shem Kamatz, Pasach, Tziri, Sego, Shva, Cholom, Chirik, Kuvutz, and Shuk. And just to go over these, Kamatz is a line. With a uh, with a little dot underneath and the connected, and the sound is O or some people as far as pronounce it also A. Uh, Pasach is just a line underneath O's. Tzere is uh, is two dots. Segel is three dots under those. Three dots like this. Shiva is two dots under the O's like this. Tzere was like the two dots underneath those like this, and Shiva is two dots underneath the O's like this. Cholam is on the top of the O's to the left. That's how we draw. Chirik is underneath the os, one dot. Kuvutz is uh, is three dots underneath the os in a line like this, um, which has a sound of u. And shuruk is one dot in the middle of an os, specifically in the middle of the os vav. Now, just an easy way to remember all these osios, uh, each one of the each one of their names actually are pronounced with the os themselves. Like kamatz is pronounced with a uh, with with a with a cholam pasach with a with a a, tzir with a a, sego with a e, shva with a shva I guess sh shva I don't know where the shva is in the shva, cholam with a with a vav with a dot on top of the cholam it sounds o, chirik with an e, kuvutz with an u and shuv also with an u that's how they sound, and that's how each one of these um, each one of these the names of the nakudos actually have the sound inside of it so it's easy to remember it's easy to remember that way. I think also in the back of the uh, in this safer that I have, we have a nice picture with all of the different um, all the different nukudus and where they are on the ten spheres. Okay, you can see this picture of the nukudus with the ten spheres. Okay, um, we're going to go through these. Uh, that's actually in order. Comets is uh, is in Kesser. Pasach is in Chochma, Tzeri is in Bina, Sego is in Chesed, Shva is in Gvur, Cholom is in Tiferet, Chira is in Tiferet, Chirik is in Netzach, Kuvutz and Shuruk is in Hod, Kuvutz is in Hod, and Shuruk is in Yisod. And there's no Nakuda for the uh, for the Sphere of Malchus, the, uh, we're going to see we're going to learn about it later. Each one of the shemas have different nakudas according to which uh, which sphere relates to. And the nakud of Malchus, uh, the sphere of Malchus isn't um, uh, doesn't have any nakudas. You know, a kine nakudas and test. There are nine nakudas. Shem, which we which we just said. Vamnam. Yesh bem gamken bechinas elyonim shu nikud acholam v'mtzayim kegon ashuk v'chosh v'chol ashayim tachtonim. Now, also by the osios, like we saw by the tamim, that there are tamim elyonim and tzayim and tachtonim, so too there are osios that are elyonim and tzayim and tachtonim. There are osios that are on top of the, uh, there are nakudas that are top of the os, there are nakudas that are elyonim, and like uh, like cholom, which is I think, which is the only one, and then there's shuruk, uh, which is in the center. And then all the rest are tachtonim underneath the osios. That's where they, when we draw them, when we write them, we they come out underneath osios. V'achin gach nevar, kol zeb as Hashem. Later on, we're going to explain all of this. Vine, kol ashiva chronos. 
של הנקודות הם צורס יהודים. All the last um, seven nakudos are the have the shape of, of a yud, which is a dot. Chutz mi base nakudos rishonim shem kamitz pasach. Aside from the first two, which is the which are the nakudos of kamitz and pasach, shem base of avim v'yudechad, which the if you were to break down the first two nakudos, which is a kamitz and pasach, you would break it down to two vavs and one yud, meaning two lines and one dot. Ve'inyan. כי קשה נמר, קשה נימנה כל היהודים שבו, שבשיבה נקודה סיידו. The idea is that when you count all of the, um, all of the yuds that are inside of these seven nakudas, meaning, let's say for the, for the shiva, you take two, two yuds, which would be 20, um, you'd have, you're counting all the yuds here, then, hem yud gimel yudim, you'd come out with 13 yuds, if we, um, if we count them. Tziri, we said, is two. Segel is three. That's five. Uh, Shiva is also two. That's seven. Kolom is one. That's eight. Chiruk is one. Is nine. Kuvuts is three. So that's twelve. And Shuruk is one. So that's thirteen. So we have thirteen yuds. Uh, that if with the if you take out if you add up all together all the yuds of the seven lower nakudas. The seven last uh, last nakudos that go underneath those. Then the gematria count. If you take thirteen, uh, uh, thirteen yuds comes out to kuf lamed, which is one hundred and thirty uh, gematria. Kiminyan ein, which is the same gematria as ein. Loris kimina ein yatsu nakudos to show that the nakudos actually came out of the eyes. Venisha kamatsa pasach and you the base of him. Now we left not counting the um, the comments. If you count them as the gematria, the way you make a gematria of the nakudas is by taking uh, taking the dots and counting them as a yud, and taking the uh, vavs and count, uh, taking the lines and counting them as a vav. This comes out to twenty-two because two vavs and a yud is two vavs is twelve. Each vav is six, and one yud is ten. So it's twenty-two. Vehem so rechav pesa usios shemhem nasim kindush nakudim. This is the uh, this is signifies the twenty-two kalim, chafpes uh, osio. Sorry, the twenty-two letters that from which are uh, the kalim are made. The kalim are made through the letters. Vim toma, lama nishemu v'nirmazu a kalim the base on the kudos rishonos rishonos v'amulah shavakulam. Why were the uh, the kalim, specifically the, the the osios, which are the kalim, why are they specifically hinted at uh, in the first two in the first two nakudos? We said the first two nakudos make up a gematria of twenty two, which is hinted to the kalim. Why specifically the first two nakudos, which is kesa and chach? Oh, now how you know? Kim elu beis nakudos mishan mishem kesa v'chach mishal nakudos kenoda. The idea is like this: that from the first two uh, nakudos, which is kesa and chachma. Mehem Yotsu Kalim El Kol Hashem. From them, the Kalim actually came to all the rest of the spheres. Vehem Asher Hulidu Vemitzu Kalim the spheres Shetachtein. And these two first uh, spheres are the ones that gave birth to and created the rest of the uh, the rest of the spheres that were underneath them. That's why the first two are specifically referring to are Merum Meramis too. Uh, the first two nukudas and ramas to the chaf base kil, chaf base osios. That's one reason. O tamacha, another reason is, ki ne noda ki shiva nukudas atachtonos hem shiva malach mishamisu. We also know the seven nukudas, the seven lower nukudas, are going to be the seven kings that died, which are the seven spheres that are uh, that break and that are later fixed up, which we didn't, which we didn't describe at length exactly how it works, but. Um, the le- seven lower spheres are, when they come out, they're going to break and they're going to go down to lower worlds and then later on they're going to be fixed up to create the, um, the mainly the Pratsifim of Zerapin and Nukfa to create the lower seven spheres Aval ha the first <coughs> the first sphere, the first spheres of Kassar and Chochman did not, uh, did not break you, we also see that Mina didn't break. This is a kasha that he, um, some of the Mepharshim tried to, try to explain. 
why is it here he's saying that only Chachma and Bina, Kesser and Chachma didn't break, but uh, also we know that Bina also broke as much as Chachma. And we know that the union of Misa is Shvirsakil. Shvirsakil and Misa are like synonymous, the same union. Vine has Shiva Nakudos, Achronos, Nishu Glokalim, Rak or Levad, Shubachina San Nakudos. Now, the seven lower spheres are going to be left with, after they break, only with the R. The R does not break, the R does not get ruined or damaged. Only the vessels get ruined and damaged, and they go to a lower world. But these um, these oros, these are oros of the oros of the nakudim, the nakudos themselves, and the kalim, which are the ones that, the aspect that breaks in all the nakudim, the kalim are uh, are the are the osios. So the osios break and go down, whereas the kalim, uh, the the oros stay up. But the first ones, the first. Um, the first spheres of Kesar and Rachma, and also Bina, and we're not going to uh, we're not going to get into this question now. Uh, the first two spheres of Kesar and Rachma are going to stay without breaking, and they're going to stay. The ore is going to stay inside the cave. So this is another reason why the twelve, the the twenty-two osios are being rumors inside Kesar and Rachma, since the twenty-two osios are the Indian of the Kalim, the Osios are Indian of Kalim, that the Kesar and Chachma keep their Kalim. Therefore, they keep being Miramas to the Indian of the Chav Beis Kalim, with the, uh, with the Nakudus, the Gematria of the Nakudus being Chav Beis, which is Miramas to the fact that they kept their Kalim and didn't break them. And they didn't break, with uh, the Kalim didn't break at all. Ki Chav Beis Osios Hamurumas becomes Pasach, Hashem Chachma explosive. Chav Beis Osios Hamurumas becomes like we said. Fine, Kamatz Mora ala Keser Kanod. Now, Kamatz is Mora on Keser. It's referring to Keser, signifying Keser. A Keser wa Tami. And the Keser is Tami. And Pasach Mora ala Chachma vem Nakudus. And Pasach, which is just a line, that's Mora on um, on Nakudus and Chachma. Chen Nikoim Bis Nakudus Elu Kamatz ve Pasach. And that's why these two, the Kudus are called Kamatz of Pasach. Why? These are referring to the idea that is, uh, that is mentioned, meaning, uh, I don't think that he's here, he's going, he's going to explain what, uh, what the connection is between the actual name of Kamatz and actual name of Pasach, and how they connect to the actual, actual spheres of the, or the Indian of Keser and the Indian of Chachm. Whereas long as only the Tamim came out of Sag, which was the Oros of Oz which we uh, already described in the previous chapters, the Or was still Kamots Vasasom, was still hidden away and very um, in, very difficult to understand or to, to, to attain or to relate to. Him. So this is the Indian of Tamim, the Tamim of Sag came out of the Ozen Chotem and the Tamim of Sag are comments. The Tamim relates to Kesar. So, um, so this is the connection between the word comments, which means uh, to be to be like hidden away. When the comments, when the when the Kohen Gadol uh, takes the flower, he grabs it with his hand. It's called a kamitza, where he where he's grabbing it and holding it closed, holding it tight. Um, where, and that is exactly what the Indian of Kesser is, and the Indian specifically of Kesser of Ors of Sag, which is Tamim Ors of Sag, which came out of the Ozen Chol Tempeh, those Ors were all Kamatz Vesasim. We saw, even as the, um, we saw like the Ors of the Ten Spheres uh, came out of those nine, where they didn't really have a distinct aspect in and of themselves, they came out with Betsuros Os Echas, they came out as a form of one os, an os hey, and same thing with the chotem. The chotem was broken down into into, into six alfin, but didn't um, but didn't actually have six. It didn't even have any any kli. They were all or without kli, and then the the pe came out with one kli, but they were mamish all. It was all one union of of, um, of uh, one union all, all itself together, all included together, one kli for ten oros. So we see that the breakdown 
was much, much less in the upper arms. Whereas later on, we're going to see that the, each sphere has its own kli, and each sphere has not only its own kli, but it breaks down to its own, to its own patsuf. Most magnet spheres have their own patsuf, and from uh, the Indian of the Mukud of, uh, of Zerampin also, um, breaks down into many different protim, which we're going to learn about, and it's much more uh, attainable, at least for us in our, in our Bechina. Whereas the Oris of Keser, the Oris of the Ozen Chotempe, which is Keser of Sag, are much, much higher and much more, um, much more elusive. Uh, so now we're getting to the Oris of Nekudus of Sag, which is the Bechina of Chachma of Sag, because Keser is Tamin and Nekudus is, uh, is Chachma. So now when we're talking about the Nekudus of Sag, which come out of the Enayim, that's the Bechina of Pasach. Pasach means now to open up. Shehu Bechina Ain. When the Bechina of Nekudus came, which is Chachma, which is Pasach, Vehi Bechina Ain Kanizker, and that's the Indian of Ain Kanizker, as mentioned above, Az Hayu Hembe Psichud Ain. Then they were with open eyes. Kanizker, the Tikunim, as mentioned in the Tikunim. Is that Indian Nekudus Pasach? This idea of the Nekudus uh, Pasach, the Indian of Nekudus, and, um, and connected to the word Pasach. Um, I think he's referring to. Yeah, he was referring to. The base of the explains. We're going to read this little piece here. Uh, pretty, now, from the eyes came the Nakudus, which is Chachma, which is Pasach, as we, as we explained. Now, the Urs of the Olam HaNakudim came out with Mamish ten full spheres, distinct spheres. The Bekelim, the whole sphere of a sphere, and Kelim for each sphere. Mamish, as I, uh, as I was Machavan, uh, to, this, to this Indian, that the ten, uh, it's, it's mainly referring to the breakdown of the amount of Kelim, or the Indian of the Kelim that the Urs of the Oznafotim Peh came out with. The Kelim were very, and the spheres themselves, were very connected and were very, uh, they were comments, meaning they were held together and they were tightly closed together, and they were sasum, they were very hard to, to understand and to break down to, to, to relate to them. And now in the verse of the Inaim, which is the verse of Pasach, they're opening up, which is, uh, Pasach means to open up, they're opening up and they're developing into something which we can understand, something which is more, um, more attainable for us. Uh, but in the beginning, in the Bechina of Keser, which was Tamim of Sag, then the Oris, there the Oris were very common to us and they were very, uh, they weren't so distinct and they weren't so, they were all, we, all, we only learn about them and only understand them in a very general form. So that's, uh, this is the difference, the union of the Nukudus and how Keser and uh, Chachmar relate to the union of, um, of comments and possibly.